definitely had some warm temps this afternoon, but mm -hmm. will that continue for Mother's Day? I do think we're going to cool down some a okay. little bit tomorrow and then even more so on Monday as we've got a backdoor front that's going to be sneaking in here over the next 24 hours. It's one of the reasons that we do have some showers and thunderstorms in our forecast for tonight. Elegant Mount Airy and you can see today pretty busy downtown it is warm. It's muggy, right? A little bit of sunshine peeking through the clouds and we're going to see at least a few isolated thunderstorms with those clouds rolling through here during the evening hour. Less of a chance the farther north and west you are. So if you're in the mountains or in the foothills, we're looking at only a small chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Slightly higher though between now and about 10 o'clock across the Piedmont Triad. Now for Mayfest in Pilot Mountain tomorrow, Mother's Day, 1 o'clock, you've got a cool breeze, temperatures in the low 70s. I do think rain tomorrow will be very limited, if not non-existent. We've only got a very small chance for a shower across the area. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s, so it's a pretty mild day. There'll be a good bit of cloud cover around. We're in the low 80s this afternoon, 82 in Winston-Salem, 80 in Lexington, 75 in Mount Airy. You see the visible satellite picture showing you those clouds. Tops coming down off the mountains, producing some wet weather. You can start to see a line here that's a little more organized as that front is going to be drifting south up over our Virginia counties. That's where we have most of the activity, but we do have a shower here with some heavier rain just north and east of Walkertown. So it's over Blues Lake right now and moving into northern Forsyth and northwestern Guilford County. We also have some rubbles of thunder, some flashes of lightning with this from Martinsville stretching along Highway 58 to the east. There is a very small chance that any thunderstorms that do develop could become severe with damaging winds as the main threat. So again, we've got this pushing through now and then that front coming through later on tonight. That'll keep an opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms through the area, I think until about 10 or 11 o'clock and then it's pretty quiet overnight. But notice all the clouds that are around. Temperatures near 60 degrees as we start tomorrow morning. Could have a spotty shower in the mountains and foothills. 59 in the mountains, 62 in the foothills, 63 in the triad. And then during the day tomorrow, you don't see much blue or many a rain showers popping up. It's really just a lot of clouds around and anything that does pop up should be very light in nature. Maybe isolated thunder and lightning in the mountains by late afternoon, but should be a pretty decent day. It's not going to be bright and sunny and rainless for everyone tomorrow. I do think we're definitely going to have some clouds around, but could be far worse. We watch that front kind of pushing through tonight. Then we're going to get a cooler northeast breeze in here for Mother's Day, as well as those clouds, which are going to hang pretty tough. I do think we'll get a little bit of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon and only limited chances for rain. I've put in like a 20% chance in the Piedmont with a high of 78 northeast breeze 5 to 10 miles an hour in the foothills. We're up to 75 for Mother's Day. Also a small chance for a passing shower in the mountains. Some gray skies, high temperature 69 tomorrow, about a 30% chance for a shower in the mountains. So that front is to the south of us on Sunday heading into Monday. That cooler air continues to settle southward with some 50s in the morning for Monday morning. And then notice that during the day Monday we do have some scattered showers that are going to break out across the area. It's also a cooler day with highs that are only in the 60s for your Monday. Going to stay a bit unsettled this week and we know it's all star race week. Our forecast does have opportunities for wet weather in it toward the end of the week. It looks like right now our rain chances may go up. We are hopeful that we'll be able to adjust that forecast as more information comes in and we get closer to the big races next weekend. You're watching